Is it worth dating a jealous woman from the Philippines? Um, I don't have that problem, but from what I've seen with other people, I would say no. Uh, it's just a headache, constantly. They want to know where you are, what you're doing, and even when you're going to work, they're like, can you call me? I had a friend of mine have these problems even when she knows where he is, but still like, well, where are you? Well, I'm at the office. Why well, do I know you at the office? You know, it's those stupid things. And it gets fed by other people as well. This is the thing. This is one of the things that can sour a relationship. But you will find other Filipinos like to stir the net, stir it up. So if they know somebody is jealous and likely to go off on one because of something um, they think has happened or whatever, they will plant the seed. Uh, I've, seen it, I've seen it so many times, the crap mentality on it is just phenomenal. But the, they'll just turn around and go, oh, I, I, thi I think I saw your husband at the mall, that, you know, something like that. When she knows that it wasn't you, but they'll just do it to stir things up. Um, I don't know why they do it, I don't. Because if they know somebody's already jealous, why would you actually go out of your way just to cause a major dispute. Do you know sometimes when when I'm talking to somebody and they go, oh the wife, God, don't don't tell her we went out the other night and I'm like But why not? You were only going out for a beer while we're working away or whatever. You weren't actually doing anything. This is even in the UK. But they, they get aggravation to the fact they're out enjoying themselves. Well, the thing they're enjoying themselves is the fact that you're sitting staring at the hotel room walls otherwise. It's not It's not a good environment to be in all day. So, but they'll still go, oh, yeah, um, don't tell the wife about it. And obviously you don't. But I find in the Philippines, it's the other way around. Really? You, your wife would get really upset about that, would she? Oh. And then the next thing you hear is, you your wife's phone, are you going, uh, what's this about you being out the other night? Hey? Who told you that? Well, why did you keep it a secret? You know, it's that sort of... Uh, you know, I've mentioned before about the guy that was getting the, the ring, and the mother-in-law sort of planted the seed about this other woman being in the house and everything else. That's a prime example, because the woman wasn't in the house, she was only having a coffee before she went back home because she'd gone all the way up there to pick up, uh, drop off a bit of jewellery that wasn't rightfully hers. But the mother-in-law made out that she was in the woman's house. You know, I went to get the laundry and there was another woman in your house. Not mentioning they were sat on the front patio in full view of the uh, guard house because the guy was well aware of the sort of crap people will do, the mother-in-law will not mention that they weren't actually physically in the house or even 10 feet um, away from it. It was just like when I went to pick up the laundry from your house, there was another woman there following on with the vehicle bit where she turned around and said, oh, because the, when they went out for the day out, like I said before, the mother-in-law and father-in-law know this other woman's parents. So the four of them, plus this woman, were going down to the, the beach for the day. Nothing untoward at all. Because uh, the, the guy's actually feeling quite guilty for something a relative of his has done. Um, but the, the thing is, when the seat at the front was offered to the mother-in-law, she refused it. So the, the other woman sat on it, and then the mother-in-law was then going, oh, to her daughter, this woman's taking your place, she's sitting in the front seat of the car now. Utter stuff. That stuff really bugs me, because it destroys relationships over nothing. And that's somebody's own mother doing it on purpose. That sound's coming in pretty bad, isn't it? Oh, the kite surf is up close now, though. 
but yeah, don't get caught out with the jealousy stuff. If, it, if your wife's jealous, or, well, sorry, your girlfriend, if your wife is too late, um, it's very, very hard to be in one of those relationships because of the way the Philippines is. Um, because people love to play on it. They love to create a bit of drama. And I know it's sad to say it, but it's true. Um, so be aware of it. If your partner's jealous and you just say, well, look, if you're serious about a relationship, you need to be serious about growing up and trust. Because if you can't trust me, there's no point in having a relationship. And it doesn't matter what your relatives say or anything else. Because a lot of the time they do it for, because of this crap mentality stuff. They want to stir things up. Now you will find there is some a lot of families that are good as gold, but there's always still one member of family that's a pain in the backside. We get it. We get it. We had somebody else rent an apartment. Um, one of the relatives went and told them, oh, why are you living there? Do you know it's haunted? They know it's not haunted, they're just stirring it up. That's the sort of twatting thing people do. You just have to be aware of it and avoid it. So the partner is really jealous, you have to think twice, is it, is it, is it worth getting into this relationship? Is it something I can fix? Is it something I can live with? Don't assume it's going to get easier as time goes on. Because the more money there is, like once they start seeing that you're looking after her and everything else, the more likely people are going to want to stir things up. Because they like to see people miserable. And that's no joke. <laughs> um, yeah. A little bit of happiness in the world, that's all I want. I tell you what, it's hot today. 34 degrees. Beautiful though. Except for that wind. <laughs> Thanks for watching.